Hello there, and welcome. In this episode, we're talking about skimmers. What are they? How do they work? And do you need one? Well, firstly, we'll talk about what a skimmer is and what it does. In its most basic, a skimmer is a pump, a plastic tube of some sort, with a collection area on the top. The pump draws in water and creates fine bubbles of air, which it then passes into the long plastic tube. These bubbles are incredibly fine, or at least they should be on a decent skimmer, and this in turn creates a foam, which travels up the tube and into the cup, and it will normally settle out as a dark liquid. So that's basically what a skimmer is. There are many different types of skimmer, but they all work in the same fundamental way. There are two types of skimmer available on the market. The first one is the type shown in this video, a self-contained unit which sits inside of the sump and normally has a pump inside or next to the skimmer unit itself. The other type are hang on the back skimmers. And these follow the same principle as the sump skimmers. However, they're designed to hang over glass. So to be used either in an aquarium where there isn't a sump for a skimmer to be put into and hang on the side of the aquarium or to save space inside of your sump for other equipment. So what is it actually doing? Well, if you've ever walked along a coastline in high winds or after a storm, you may have noted that the beach will be covered in a brown foam. That is basically the ocean being skimmed. And the skimmer in your aquarium will do exactly the same thing. All the organisms in a saltwater aquarium, whenever they excrete, all of that waste gets dissolved into the aquarium water. In a freshwater tank, most of the waste will sit on the bottom of the tank get sucked up by the filter and re-remove that way, but not in a saltwater tank, it actually dissolves into the water. So how do you remove it? Well, that's what a skimmer's for. So basically, as these fine bubbles are being created and moving around inside of that plastic tube, all the oils and nasties that are inside your aquarium water stick to the micro bubbles, and they create a foam which then gets transferred into the cup. All of that dirty mess that's coming out into the top of the cup it's all fish and coral waste. So as you can see, it's probably quite an important part of a saltwater aquarium, and you'd be correct. Most saltwater aquariums do need a skimmer, especially larger ones, because the only other way of removing all of these nasties from your water will be to do extremely large and regular water changes. But can you do without a skimmer? Well, I've done a few tanks without skimmers, and you can, but it does make life a bit more difficult in larger aquariums. However, in smaller aquariums, that being below 100 litres or so, I would say that running skimmerless is a very viable option because doing water changes at that size isn't an issue. It's there are a few benefits from running skimmerless. One being is you don't pull any good nutrients out from the water column. When you are skimming the aquarium, as well as removing bad oils and waste from the tank, you are also removing some good nutrients and this can affect the vitality of your corals. But in general, running a skimmer is a pretty standard and necessary part of saltwater aquariums. But like I said, on small tanks, less than 100 litres, you can get away without running a skimmer quite easily. Not only that, but I have found that most of the, as they refer to, nano skimmers, don't actually do a very good job of skimming at all. Especially those provided with saltwater tanks that are around 50 or 60 litres, the ones I've come into contact with barely skim anything. And that brings me to my final point about skimmers. If you're going to buy one, make sure you buy a decent quality one. There are many skimmers on the market and you can get them fairly cheap. I've seen skimmers for around £60, but they are absolutely rubbish. They look like skimmers, however their performance is inadequate. So I hope this has been helpful. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. Thank you for watching and happy fish keeping!